Hey everybody, this is Chase Selmeyer with Kanga360. I'm here today working on a tutorial for a good friend of ours, Ron Rosen. He has a custom app called Tour Homes 360 for your iPhone and iPad. Definitely try to check that out when you get a chance. Uh, has some beautiful real estate in the area down in Fort Lauderdale, all the way through Florida and the US. Uh, Ron called me earlier asking a question of how we can add in some cool things such as logos, uh, directional tools, and etc. into our virtual tours. And so we're going to work on this today. But before I get into that, I have a very special guest on the line with us through Skype, Chris Ann Long with uh, Marketing System Blueprints. How are you doing, Chris Ann? I'm doing great, Chase. How are you? I'm doing great today. We're just having fun editing tours and trying to get, that, get the word out of how great these are. Awesome. They are fantastic tools. I hope that uh, everybody in the group really appreciates the value that they bring to businesses. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about Marketing System Blueprints and kind of your uh, experience between social marketing, online websites, and uh, you know, marketing new businesses. Well, Marketing System Blueprints is just a, uh, an internet marketing company um, helping businesses leverage the technology, things like virtual tours, but also websites, social media, uh, mobile marketing, you, know, you name it. If the technology is out there, we're just helping businesses use strategies to better promote their businesses and, and get found online. And we, we, we first showed you these tours, I think, just a few months back. And, uh, you know, the application for tours just came out. What has been your experience with the tours and some of the feedback you've experienced from clients that we work with and uh, your overall impact of these virtual tours? Well, I think it goes without saying that there's a huge wow factor the first time someone sees the tour. Not just the tour itself, but really how they're used on the, uh, on the iPad, on the iPhone, um, being able to feel like you're actually truly in a virtual tour. Um, but uh, the feedback from other people um, outside of myself, I mean, other people who are just chattering and buzzing about what they've seen you doing with the, uh, the local area in Lakeland, Paint Along Studios being a perfect example, you've got them on the screen. Um, it, it does an amazing job of showcasing what's inside a business. Um, if you're doing real estate, obviously the, that is explained by the, the whole concept of virtual tours, which has been done for many years. But this actually is a different take on that whole concept, allowing a customer who is just kind of researching a company, trying to figure out if they want to go, what's it all about, what's the vibe, what's the feeling, um, do, I, do I really want to spend my time you know, checking it out? This, this answers all of those questions. I mean, this, per, this tour right here does an excellent job of, of showing a visitor what it looks like inside Paylong Studios, what they're going to see when they get there. And, and I think that there is so, so much value to that. That's awesome. Yeah, we uh, shot Paylong Studios here in Lakeland. And uh, they, again, as you can see, they use them on their website. And uh, these were completely mobile, which was awesome. And we're in a mobile era, isn't that right, Chrisanne? I mean, everybody's getting right on their iPads, iPhones, to find locations. So talk a little bit about the importance of being completely mobile. The more mobile you are, the better. The easier you are to be found on a mobile device. Um, it's, it, there's, no, there's no doubt people are finding apps and searching for uh, businesses, whether they're visitors from out of town or whether they're just trying to explore their neighborhood in, in a different way. Um, they're discovering that mobile makes it more fun to find things that they've never seen before, but it also brings a little bit more of a um, of a cool factor. A, uh, I'm, I've got all this cool technology. Look at look at all the things that I can find, and it makes it shareable. So if someone finds something cool that they've been able to do on their phone, and they just hand it over to their buddy, and it pretty much it comes becomes viral. Everybody wants to look at it. Everybody wants to do it. And now you've got you know maximum exposure that you, you didn't even know you were going to get just from one 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 effort. Now we talk about the cool and the wow factor. How does this affect a business, um, their impression on their clients and their customer base? Well, it's just making the customer feel like this this business has it all figured out. That they know what they want. Um, bringing the customer what they need, what they're looking for, and making it accessible and easy for um, the end user to to learn everything that they want to learn without having to go, you know, do a whole lot of work. Um, that's really what it's all about in today's marketplace. The landscape is just like, you know, tell me everything I need to know and then I'll decide if I want to do business with you. And this really does a great job of making that possible. What, what kind of tool, tools are you guys using now for like location marketing? I mean, we talk a lot about using Google Maps, we've got um, direct contact, uh, we can check in with Foursquare. What are some really kind of neat aspects you've seen in the tourist platform that help uh, the end user find that business that they've been searching for? Well, you know, 
looking at some of the tourist apps that I've seen, you know, colleges are using um, your application in, in a great way. Um, there are a myriad of different applications out there. I could go on and on and on, but really making it, making it possible. These kinds of things um, are harder to, you know, you've got to integrate them. So think about things with the end in mind. Think about how this is going to be something that, you know, they can use easily and without too much difficulty. And the benefit's going to come when a city or an area, a bigger area, gets behind and puts all of these virtual tours in one place so that, you know, the, 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 the visitor to the city can really easily navigate and get around the town and know what's what's here and what's there and not really have to do a whole lot of individual searching because it's here, it's all in one place. That's awesome. And talking about a city and kind of planning for the future, uh, we do actually have a virtual tour here, if I can go find it, um, where we are in a downtown sitting area, and I believe I showed you this guys, you guys this earlier, but uh, here we are in downtown Lakeland, and uh, we have a virtual tour of Kentucky and Main Street, and a new aspect we're trying to add to these tours are these uh, directional kind of grids at the bottom, uh, somewhat sort of a compass. Uh, do you feel like this would be something that uh, businesses would attract onto or use? Absolutely. Um, if, you, if you're standing in the corner of a, of a street, of an intersection, and you don't really know where you want to go, I mean, Foursquare allows that, when, but I, I, a lot of people don't even know that they have that functionality inside of the Foursquare app. This is actually something, hey, I'm, I'm just standing here, I'm looking, where do I go? And if you look down at the ground and you're able to see, okay, to, my, to the north is Palace Pizza, uh, Harry's is right around the corner, um, that's just going to make the, the businesses themselves have an enormous amount of exposure that you really won't be able to get anywhere else. Um, I've been in places when I'm using the Foursquare app and I don't know where I want to go, and this this is not something that there's uh, is available in some of the technologies that I've been using. So this is actually something that's beyond the scope of what uh, what's actually currently out there in the marketplace. Very cool. Well, we're going to spend the rest of today's tutorial teaching people how to make these uh, awesome little compass pieces. Any more advice, Chrisanne, for our uh, new virtual tour users out there? I, I think really it, it's it's all about making it about the businesses. Um, Spend all your time and energy showing them the benefits and how this is going to in, in, increase their exposure and expand their, the, the scope of how people can find them and you'll be able to sell it to them no matter what because A, number one, you've got the wow factor, but then what's in it for me? What's in it for the business? The business is going to say, now everybody thinks I'm cool, I am easy to be found, people understand what it's like to be inside my business and um, there's, there, there's nothing else, the, the, the limits are, there are no limits. Awesome. Well, Chris Ann, thanks so much for your time today, and uh, we wish everybody over there at Marketing Assistant Blueprints the best of luck. And uh, yeah, we'll stay tuned with uh, our next virtual reality tour uh, update. Thanks again. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Chase. Bye bye.